I'm going to do this next example on the exact same diagram because sometimes, and this exact scenario is one of them, sometimes you can have more than one molecule that will bind to and stimulate the same receptor. So look at this. This would be um, the same molecule. This is norepinephrine. And guess what? Norepinephrine also can initiate action at both alpha and beta receptors. Really? So now I have more than one molecule that is stimulating a response. All that does is say, hey, we really want a response. And if you think about running from a bear, dude, let's throw as much epinephrine and norepinephrine in as we can in the hopes that, yeah, we're actually going to make sure that we, we make something happen because running away from a bear is a big deal. So sometimes more than one signaling molecule can bind to the same receptor and initiate the same response. Norepinephrine is going to cause vasoconstriction in the guts, and it's going to cause vasodilation in the skeletal muscles, same as epinephrine. But you don't have to have a whole set of norepinephrine receptors in order to be sensitive to that molecule. That comes in handy, and that can help you. Um, it can help you in communicating what you want to communicate. Okay, there's another thing that we can change to fine-tune communication.